What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. I'm going to be doing a reaction to the Tea Rooms. Tay has some final words for Jazz. Okay, so I want to see exactly what's going on in this freaking video, man. Without further ado, make sure you go cop your merch in the pinned comment down below. Also in the description down below, everybody who has been copying the merch, thank you guys so freaking much. I really, 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 really do appreciate you guys. I know you just got paid. It's Friday. It's Friday. Go cop your Diamond Life merch, man. I appreciate you guys so freaking much, man. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your bottom today. Uncle Joey's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get it. Okay, so it seems like everyone has been getting at Tay about the comments that she made about Jazz, Armand, and... I'm gonna say this. Tay seems like she is in childish mode, petty mode, okay? And like I said, she had been locked down in that relationship for quite some time, and... I definitely feel some salty energy coming from her. We know that the relationship didn't work out. And from what she is saying, it's Jazz's fault. Jazz is wanting to go out and do different things and do different people maybe. I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. But it seems like she is super salty. And now, coming from a relationship that you have been tied to for so long, like I said, like I said in the last video, sometimes in relationships you form an identity, right? Not only around yourself, but around that other person. So instead of just you being an individual, you look at yourself as a we thing with somebody else. And it's super, super important to remain an individual, even in a relationship, okay? You don't want somebody to be your everything because when that person exits your life for whatever reason, you know, even if y'all have the best relationship and death comes, you're not gonna know how to move on. You're not gonna know how to live on. You're just, it's gonna be destructive for your life, right? So I don't think you should make anybody your whole world. I think that you should just love yourself the best that you can. That person love themselves the best they can. Y'all enjoy, y'all enjoy loving each other while loving yourselves. I feel like that's the most important thing. I feel like Tay right now is going through something as far as like not knowing who she is or trying to get back to who she is, right? Y'all let me know how y'all feel. In Trey's relationship, I'm gonna post what she stated here. Whatever happened to freedom of speech? We don't do that no more? I mean, you can definitely speak freely, shouted, but just like you can speak freely, other people can speak freely about how they feel about what you said. I don't think you understand that part. Okay, Tay. And I'm not coming for Tay. No shade towards Tay at all. But I do feel like lately she has been a little childish. She has been salty. She has been petty. And I am a victim of those same things. Sometimes I'm petty. Sometimes I'm childish. Sometimes, you know, I'm not acting my age. I'm acting my shoe size. You know, I'm acting five, six, seven years old. Especially when I'm in my feelings about something. And I'm really hurt about something. Let's be honest. Half of us have horrible emotional control in the heat of feeling some type of way about something, right? So I don't fault Tay, Tay at all. There's been times where I didn't know who I was, okay? There's times where I just, like, I was trying to find my fucking way. So no, I don't hate on Tay for what she's going through, but I do know that she's going through something internally, okay? And I do know that it probably will help to put down the bottle and motherfucking meditate instead of medicating and motherfucking get right within, because you're trying to fix your sorrows by drinking and whatever else you're doing and, and getting with it, this trapper, scrapper, slash, slapper, okay? And a new relationship is not going to make you feel better. And if it does, it'll be temporary. Drugs and alcohol are not going to make you feel better. If it does, it's temporarily. And you're still going to have that emptiness and void inside of yourself because you are not going to the root and the cause of what is really fucking you up mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You have to get down to the root of things, okay? Meditate, do not medicate. Go get your meditate shirts, okay? Link in the description down below, shameless plug. Let's keep going. <laughs> like, okay, y'all let her get her free. And not only that, she said, my bad for scooping down to that level. Scooping, <laughs> fat man scooping, okay? Not stooping down to that level. She said, my bad for scooping to that level she's done all right yeah tay did she was throwing shots but i mean like i said i wouldn't be i would be embarrassed too if my ex was on ig live acting a plum ass fool like she was with uh 
24K D F G H I J K L M N O P. Okay, I would feel embarrassed too. I'd be like, ah, oh, damn, man, I can't believe I dated this bitch. And look what she out here doing now. But like I said, man, that's not to say that Tay is a bad person. It's not to say that she won't ever grow up or you know whatever. I just feel like Tay is just she's trying to heal, and the way that she's doing it might not be the most beneficial way. But let's see what happens, y'all. <laughs> At least she admits it. <laughs> a wise old lady once told me that it's going to end how it started. And you can't get mad at the fact that it's ending how it started because I warned you type shit. What? And I'm just like, I'm thinking back at it like, you right. You so motherfucking right. Y'all know how that shit started for me? No. Like, it was hell. So... I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what the fuck she is talking about, guys. Because I don't know how it started for her. Let me know. It's over with. Only people that's going to survive in your corner are the people that truly support you. Are the people that truly that's true. talk with you. That's true. And the people that truly see you for who you are. Yes. Ooh, 100%. You know what? I'm making a YouTube video. Assumptions. Because y'all got... Look, capitalize. Because you're already putting your business out there. You might as well turn your misfortune into fortune you might as well if you're gonna put it out there put it all out there you might as well why not benefit off of the situation benefit off of your misfortune turn it into fortune okay they're already entertaining it because for me i'm not even going to put my business out there for any of this to happen but since they have and they seem okay with it fuck it make a bag off of it you know why not? So many assumptions, especially that Jazz made you shit. No, she ain't make me. She ain't make me. My mom made me. The fuck? She introduced okay. me to something new, yes. Okay. The fuck? And if you go look through all them videos, baby, you're not doing them alone. No, that's a fact, though. That's a fact. I see both sides of it, okay? Because... Say, for instance, you have a Chris Brown, okay? Chris Brown picks up a regular girl off the street, wives or whatever the case may be. Chris Brown makes a... I mean, Chris Brown is already on YouTube doing his thing, crushing it. And then he's like, hey, you know, you want to do YouTube with me? We make a couple channel, bang, we go the fuck up even more type shit. And then, you know, after three years, four years of being with this chick, okay, x you out, I'm done. I want to move on to bigger and better things or whatever, you know, he might have felt at that time. Then the girl automatically, of course, is going to have clout. But you also have to realize that for one, that dude picked her. Okay. Jazz picked Tay. And knowing that, you also have to go into it knowing that this bitch could be using me for clout. Okay. She could be using me for clout. Anybody who you date after you have blown up, you have to, you have to keep in mind that this person might be using you for the wrong reasons. Okay. So that's a risk that you're just taking at that point, unless that person is more popping or just as popping as you. And even then, sometimes it could be a clout thing. And then I also see Tay's side of it too, though. And it's like, I still put the work in, okay? I still was shooting those videos with you. I was doing those challenges. I was faking them pranks. I was doing all of that shit. I was there. So you can't just act like I didn't do shit when we ran it up on this channel together, right? So, I get both sides of it, okay? I feel like Tay definitely contributed what she needed to contribute for her and Jazz to become even bigger. And I feel like Jazz did present her uh, a good opportunity for Tay to, Tay to take advantage of, and not really taking advantage of it in that way, but for her to have another opportunity to elevate in her life, you know? So, and I never discredit that girl, so get out. Please, thank you. I feel like it's so crazy, the energy that she's giving off now, when just like not too long ago, she was feeling so hurt about Jazz. And then, you know, she was so happy on that video that she edited out. She was so happy that Jazz had texted her back after so long of not talking and shit. I know y'all remember that. From going to that to going to this type of energy, you could tell Tay is super salty right now, man. She's super salty and she's super hurt. And I really hope that she stops trying to find external things and people and situations to try to make her feel better. And I hope that she can find time and a point in her life to where she can actually go within herself and heal from the inside out. That is the only true way that you're going to nip that shit in the bud. Tattoo artist in Houston. 
that's like available type shit because i'm trying to get tatted the fuck up asap don't tell me you're gonna get that tat of 23k b baby girl i told your ass not to get 24k cdfg hijk elemental p on your motherfucking hand or any tatted anywhere on your body like it's almost as if tay is forcing herself to move on in every single way that she can and that's not going to help you heal actually okay just in my opinion you let me know how y'all feel in the comment section Jazz wasn't too thrilled about what Tay has been stating about her. So she went onto her Twitter and she had a little message for Tay. She said, after all I done did and after all the relationships slash people I've introduced you to even fell out with because of you, this is how you doing me? Mm, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm, I'm that fly on the wall that shouldn't really be there. You know what I'm saying? Like this type of shit we should know about okay it's like this is just too much for tv right now bruh okay i don't know guys it's tough it's really tough going through a breakup online in front of everybody man everybody knows your motherfucking business now jazz is like man after all the shit i've done done for you people i introduced you to even fell out with and blah 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 at the end of the day sometimes relationships do not work out and you know, to be honest, both of you guys are shooting slugs at each other, okay? <laughs> Tay was all on the IG Live with, you know, 24 CD. And then you got Jazz over here shooting slugs about y'all on live. And then you got Tay shooting slugs talking about Armand and Trey and the Queens. This is just a lot. This is messy, y'all. This is messy. I feel like that fly on the wall that they missed and they, they've been trying to kill, but they couldn't kill them. So now the fly on the wall is just watching everything transpire right now, man. This shit is crazy, man. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel. Peace sign. Okay, now, honestly, I can see both sides here. Facts. I mean, Jazz did put Tay on to be in the position that she's in. But at the same time, when you, like I said, when you choose somebody and you choose somebody to be your lover, your friend, your girlfriend, your best friend, all of that, I feel like that comes with the territory. It's like, okay, you could say you're doing me a favor. But it's kind of by default that I'm getting introduced to this person and this person and this person. And it's not because, you know, hopefully it wasn't for clout, you know. I don't think it was for clout. But it's just like that's, you know, it's kind of like somebody's guilty by association if they were in the car when something happened. Okay, well, you're famous by association or you're known by association because of who you associated yourself with. So, like I said, man, if it was a clout move, then, you know, it was a clout move. But me, I don't, gen I genuinely don't think that it was a clout move on Tay's part. I could be 100% wrong. That's just how I feel, okay? And for Jazz, I totally understand where she's coming from, too. It's like, bruh, I done put you on. I done put people in your life, life that you would have probably never even been able to um, be in cahoots with. And I feel both sides, guys. So let me know in the comment section down below. Are you team Jazz? Are you team Tay? I'm just team Fly, okay? Because I'm that fly on the wall who knows damn well I shouldn't be in this bitch. I love you guys so much. Make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend today. Ain't your mom and today, Uncle Joey Stiller. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Peace. We out, baby.